okay so so here what will happen it will be r 1 1 k 1 2 k 1 3 k 2 1 k 2 2 k okay let me drag it drag it a bit so it will be and then further will be r 2 1 k r 2 2 k r 2 3 k then r 3 1 k r 3 2 k and r 3 3 k okay so let me ask you so for k is equal to 0 what will be my r 1 1 k so we fill like this way so we start from k is equal to 0 okay and we try to fill this table and then we calculate this r i j n then what we do so the final state so all the words accepted by it is either r what 1 2 3 or r 1 3 3 understood so so you fill up this table <coughs> You, you fill up this table and and then finally calculate this thing r123 and r133 and uh, this is the regular expression represented by for this dfa so r11k for k is equal to 0 what it will be tell me it will be epsilon yeah okay what will be r12 k for k is equal to 0 from state q from state q1 to q2 i move and generate the string 0 okay similarly r13 k okay similarly r21 k what will be 0 2 to 1 is 0 correct r22 what it will be 2 2 2 2 is epsilon okay so you remember when to put epsilon and when to put phi of a regular expression I have already told you the language uh, generated by phi the corresponding uh, epsilon nfa is what it is this way and the final state so there is no reachability to the final state okay but for epsilon what can be so it is like this way okay so it is a, so so these two are differences so while uh, while checking from the DFA while creating whether to if you are confused whether to put epsilon or phi you should check am I reaching from this state to this state first if I am not able to reach then you just put a phi but if I am reaching at this state but I am not creating any symbol then I will put epsilon understood so what is R23k one R three one K Epsilon or Phi I have already told you that first you check am I able to reach from three to one? Okay, so it is Phi. Okay. R three two
0 plus 1. So, the regular expression is 0 plus 1 okay? and R 3 3 will be okay. okay. Now, for k equal to 1, let us see what for k equal to 1, can you people try? So, what will be my R 1 1 1? Tell me. Hmm? So, R 1 1 1. So, R 1 1 1 mathematically you write it from here only. So, it will be R 1 1 0 plus R 1 1 0. Eh, yeah, because n is 1. No? So, it will be 1 1 0 dot R one one zero star into R what one one zero correct or not? You just uh, in the in the above expression you just put the values of i j and k i j and n okay so you'll get that okay now what will be R one one zero epsilon plus epsilon into epsilon star into epsilon. So, can you tell me what will be the simplified expression? Epsilon. Okay. Epsilon into epsilon star is always epsilon because it is an empty language. Okay. So, it will be epsilon. So, in this way you have to fill up the tables. Understood? And finally, you have to calculate as I have already told you that is R 1, 2, 3 and you have to calculate R 1, 3, 3. Okay. So, you people try, please try this. Okay. And uh, so, this covers the uh, chapter of regular expression. Okay. So, in the next class, I will just cover the uh, thing that is Minimization of DFA that is only thing left in uh, the deterministic finite automata part. So, I will cover that and then I will uh, try to complete uh, one of the property that defines a regular language that is the pumping lemma. Okay? So, any doubts for, for today's lecture? Yeah, so what I am saying is, just a second. Yeah, so what I am saying is, epsilon is, so, so you will put a epsilon when, epsilon means what? There exists a singleton language, but it has no words other than empty string. Okay. So, in a NFA, in a NFA, how it will look like? For epsilon, I have already told you the starting state is the final state. Okay. 